uh, I also have some oracles, some seashell oracles to connect to this reading for you also. So uh, you do have the Ten of Swords as your overall energy here, uh, Virgo. So I do feel, as it says on this card, endings. There's something that you have gone through, a lot of suffering, a lot of pain. Someone could have uh, really put some heartache and um, sadness in your soul. But I do feel you're ending, you're going through a transition. I'm sure um, we'll see in the reading here uh, what more uh, the Ten of Swords has to do with these endings. But I do feel uh, it really is about learning something karmically. Because you do have the card of Saturn, and Saturn is all about karma. And um, learning something, to having to be more realistic and confronting uh, your uh, fears and learning lessons and putting Saturn puts you through tests. But if you do pass it, it's like you, you get through that karmic situation. So, and, and Saturn is in the fifth house, um, which is connected to Leo. So I do feel there's um, the strong connection to maybe uh, growing and being more self-confident in, in yourself, Virgo. Uh, I feel that's what Saturn uh, in the fifth house is doing in Leo, is giving you this this confidence, this 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 ability to be more sure of your creative abilities. Um, so I do feel you know you're 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 ready to take some chances now and ending something that has been painful, and it is because of the twelfth house. I do feel Virgo. A lot of you Virgos have been seeking oneness with God and and uh, you know the philosophies of law, and it's really about your faith and uh, believing that you know you would finally. Um, have an ending to the pain that you've gone through, the suffering or the, the the trial, the tribulation, the karmic lessons, whatever it is that you've been going through, Virgo, it does look like now um, you, through faith, uh, you have passed your test, you have got through that karmic situation with Saturn, and I'm sure that your reading is going to show that, so let's get into it. Your situation at hand, the Five of Pentacles, yes, you know, karmic situation. So I feel the biggest karmic situation that you had was actually maybe it had to do with your finances. Isolation. So I feel there was an ending to this isolation, an ending to suffering uh, maybe your with your finances. There was something you had to learn maybe to be without to be isolated, to be more connected to your faith. Um, this is giving you, and that's why I feel the Saturn, there was some type of isolation, something that you had to learn karmically. But there's some type of new strength now uh, for you to move away from the Five of Pentacles, move away from this isolation, because you're, you're, it's like you're free from the mountains. You're escaping now. You, you see that you're ready for some type of journey because you're ending this isolation. You're coming uh, more open now uh, to your faith and uh, going in some type of direction that's going to be a new journey for you it looks like for a go so let's look at the challenge with this um the six of pentacles generosity is great so you know maybe a lot of you female energies are going through a, a time of balance but i do feel this journey someone's going to offer you um some type of um, gift it looks like so it looks like through faith through being realistic and concerned about you know your pathway forward you really it looks like you really have been thinking deeply about your own true desires and I do feel that's why you have the card of Leo, Leo here to be really confident in yourself and take a chance on some type of new journey that's um, through generosity others are really going to connect with you you know give you help you um, pursue this this dream this this journey um, so let's look at the past Virgo yes the high priestess the angel of power it's because you've had the power of the high priestess. It's because you've had the angel of, of power. It really is showing that, yes, you've had strong angels and guides. And uh, through faith, they have been guiding you and giving you wisdom and understanding about um, which way you should swim, which direction should you go. Um, 
But should you go your own way? Should you follow others? So I feel this is a strong connection of knowing that the high priestess has been with you. She's been guiding you through these hard times, through these um, trials and tribulations, these karmic lessons. But um, they're letting you know now that all that you have gone through was about wisdom. You have to learn uh, deep emotions and which way to swim, which way, to, what direction should you go. So there had to be some type of isolation for a lot of you Virgos to now um, um, get out of this and, and end this this um, isolation because now it really is like you are seeing, uh, you know, this new belief uh, for you. So let's look at uh, yeah the foundation. Um, yeah, two of wands. So you've been really working on um, planning to make some choices about your foundation. I feel this is about, again, act, action and, and being like the Leo, um, creating new desires and progressing. The word progress is on here. So, you know, you've been working on your foundation. You've been uh, listening to the advice and uh, wisdom that you've been receiving. So it's giving you a choice now to get out of some type of isolation because now you are actively pursuing uh, this ending and now I'm um, going to be um, the only challenge you have is to really know that there's going to be others who are going to help you um, start this new beginning or whatever it is uh, you know you've got lots of love and and happiness around your foundation and others who really uh, will give you you know some type of generous offer and gift so I feel this is time for you a lot of you workers to get out of this isolation there's something you are going to be offered uh, through progress it has taken a while to to get to this ending but through wisdom through knowledge through deep understanding there's a new uh, vision for it there's a new journey for it so I'm seeing a very strong connection to faith your creative desires this really is showing that there's going to be new uh, ways to move forward on you know, your journey. So, a message from Spirit. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, I see Pentacles. A new beginning. This is a gift. I see something. Abundance. You see the word abundance there, don't you? So, I feel there's some type of abundance, some type of generosity, a gift through communication, through, for, through someone else offering you. Maybe it's through a lot of other people who are going to be generous to you. So it really is showing, uh, Virgo, whatever you are wanting to uh, end and, and start, it's like you've been progressing towards this um, new beginning for a long time, and I do feel now it's the time to reap the rewards. We see a lot of pinnacles in here and new abundance for you, and it's because you've listened and taken time to receive the knowledge that you needed to figure out a way to go in the right direction of your pathway. So, um, near future, Page of Swords, gossip. So, you know, the Page of Swords is communication. So, like I said, I feel there's an ending to something, and, um, you know, know that there may be gossip because you've got this new power of abundance, this new way forward. Um, and I feel you're growing very spiritually, uh, maturing. That's what Saturn has done. This is the lilies of maturity. So I do feel there's a lot of growth and maturity. Um, and, you know, others may gossip about this change, this all, you know, all of a sudden you're doing, you know, you're out there and doing things now and, and people may gossip because of maybe this new beginning that you are doing. So be prepared for gossip. I feel there's a new journey, a pathway that may be very different, maybe seeking some type of uh, pathway spiritually. It may be a very spiritual path that you're going to go on, a lot of you Virgos. And uh, it could be that you know, you've been asked to go in this direction as a healer. Uh, we are Virgos. Uh, we are all healers. Um, we're here to be service to others. So I feel there's just a big change, Virgo, for some of you. And there may be gossip because you're going to maybe do something very different um, than what you have been doing before. But it's showing that you really are uh, ending something to begin something. And you see your journey forward. You see your visions. And it really is knowing that you are heading in the right direction.
Uh, so believe in your faith, believe in your intuition, uh, believe in the knowledge that you're receiving because it is going to be very powerful. Uh, pro progress is going to be made uh, in the month of April and you will see the generosity from others, the abundance coming. There may be a lot of uh, abundance coming to you from others, from clients, from you know receiving an offer, uh, or like I said, I feel a lot of you are really starting your own business or starting something that you've been wanting to do. Um, let's create your romance angel card. So far, I'm really connecting this to wow. I was going to say so far, I'm just connecting this to um, business, but then you get the soulmate card. So yes, this is your soulmate. So wow, some of you are going to meet your soulmate in the month of April. Um, so we're going to have to look at the rest of the cards here to understand this, but, um, wow, it, the, there you go. It just may happen all of a sudden. Your soulmate just, uh, may be f finally coming your way. Maybe this is what you're finally getting out of isolation because you're going to meet your soulmate, uh, generosity from someone. So yes, that could be what it is. There's changes, progress being made in love because you're getting out now. And there may be gossip because you're finally with someone or connected to this love energy that may be very different. So maybe that's what it is, or maybe older than you. You this could be a relationship that one's older, or or you know, one's older and younger. Like there's definitely looking has gossip if it's maybe connected to love. So be prepared, but you know, you're not worried about that, um, Virgo. This is uh, about soulmate love. This is about knowing that when you meet the right energy, and this could be why there's endings. Endings to waiting, endings to pain, that you're finally going to receive this connection of love um, from wisdom, from the high priestess, from guidance. Um, power of knowledge to finally seek um, your soulmate, to find your soulmate. So, um, yes, your own energies, and then you get the Nine of Cups, spirituality. Yeah, your desires. This is really about you seeking your own spiritual. I feel you're, you're on a, a road to becoming very spiritual, a lot of you Virgos. So, if that is what your career pathway is going in the healing business, um, spiritual uh, guidance or healing, um, I do feel there's a lot of luck. Uh, you're becoming stronger intuitively, psychically. I do feel a lot of you, yes, have um, really been connecting to the 12th house. So uh, a lot of you Virgos are feeling the strong connection to your own high priestess energy. So the luck is all on your side to know, and the Knight of Cups is also about love, uh, uh, you know, soulmate. Uh, luck is, you know, maybe you've been waiting for this this very spiritual soulmate connection to love. And luck, luck is on your side that you're going to uh, connect with them uh, this month. So beautiful to see. Wow. And I feel intuition. You are really seeing uh, that you're getting closer to your soulmate. And uh, that it's important that you get out of this isolation and, and be out um so that your soulmate can find you. So uh, other people's energies. Yeah, the magician. Angel of magic. There you go. Someone's there uh, who is going to be a, such a magical energy, a soulmate uh, coming, a new beginning. So I do feel there's someone out there who, and this is also about your business too. I feel other people are going to see you as a very strong magician, a very strong, like I said, high priestess, someone who is very... Uh, strong in their spiritual um, knowledge and uh, others are going to be really happy if you it's like you're changing pathways a lot of you Virgos are going on the right pathway and really a lot of changes are happening for you and receiving a lot of new insight and and knowledge and abundance and communication from others coming to you it's like you had to wait it may have been that Saturn made you wait about uh, and wait for this abundance wait to receive this prosperity or wait to receive the soulmate because of something that you had to karmically end like I said but boy this is about taking a chance this is about your creative power um, it is knowing you are going to uh, have you know this magical energy to really uh, see forward and others are going to see you as this magical magician you know someone who is very powerful so uh, yes Virgo things are really happening that's going to be uh, very um, powerful and magical so hopes wishes desires oh my god 
gosh. And then you get the Ace of Cups. Yes, this is about soulmate love. It is definitely becoming a soulmate reading, isn't it? We've got the Ace of Cups, the soulmate, the magician card. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. So, um, communication. Yes, there seems to be a, a communication, receiving word from your soulmate. So somehow... Uh, this this beautiful soulmate is going to communicate with you or you're going to communicate with them somehow some way um, uh, you two are coming together as one and finding each other uh, yes it is all about love that's what it says on the card love soulmate magic yes abundance generosity it's just progress towards what you wanted. Uh, the outcome here, Virgo. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful ending. So it says, yes, you are going to finally end, you know, whatever you've had to go through this isolation because through your challenges, your karmic lessons, ending, fighting the snake, it is really showing that through karmic challenges and tasks and lessons, you are finally going to see the angel of happiness. You, the sun is coming out. There is happiness. There is joy. I feel a lot of you Virgos are going to go on some type of vacation. It uh, definitely looks like uh, you're going to uh, transform and change. It does look like this month of April you are going to see new love. You're going to find your soulmate. There's going to be happiness. There's ending to your karmic uh, pain and suffering. Uh, your faith, your visions, your spirituality is strong. Everything is beginning, new beginning. Um, uh, being very grounded. It could be there could be a strong connection to a Leo energy. I see two cards with the the Sun and the Leo here um, of a fire energy, a Leo. Um, I also see a strong connection to with these Pentacles here, an Earth energy, like yourself, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So the last cards. Let's see if these shells tie into any of these um, any of the messages here but yes I feel this is going to be a time there may be gossip because there may be uh, a situation where someone is leaving a relationship or uh, ended a relationship maybe that was it maybe you just ended a relationship and you know, maybe there's gossip because you just found your soulmate or something of that sort so that, you know don't worry about the gossip because it's it's, it's bringing you to uh, a beautiful mature love that's you know I feel this is definitely a, a, a relationship from a past lifetime um, it's going to be very mature like I said it could there could be an age difference but I feel it's really about knowing that there is um, a relationship that you have uh, known this person from a past lifetime so let's look at the shows here um, the first one we have here uh, and this is from the or ocean Oracle here so uh, the first shell is a beautiful green shell here and it says it's a green tea snail so willingness to change one's comfort zone willingness to change so yes so the green uh, tree snail is getting you out of your comfort zone your isolation and seeing some type of new uh, power from within you there's a growth um, so yes that's a beautiful message to tell you into that you are getting out of your comfort zone you're getting out of your isolation there's something new new love and the ending to this isolation uh, to finding love power of uh, knowledge so let's look at the next show here which is the ventral harp. The intended victim will be the victor. A complete reversal. Present sacrifice for future reward. Present sacrifice for future reward. And that's a great message to know. There is maybe some sacrifices. Here you go. We got the five pentacles. So there had to have been some type of sacrifice. Being a victim. Okay. The intended victim is going to be the victor. So you are become victorious through being a victim through pain again you end with happiness you have abundance and generosity and love from others so know that there will be a complete reversal of fortune complete reversal of you know endings to now new beginnings of abundance um 
So know that, you know, if you've had to um, be without because you're trying to grow maybe your magical powers uh, to be, you know, on the spiritual pathway, uh, remember that you will, the sacrifices that you make right now will bring you the abundance, uh, generosity. So that's a great message for those who are struggling with their business, struggling to be taking a chance on their creative endeavors, uh, uh, know that um, the sacrifices that you're going through, um, you're, you see the abundance, you, you see generosity, others are going to really connect with you and be happy for what you have to give, your power, your knowledge. So, the next shell you have here, oh, I love this color shell. Um, it's called an elephant snout volute. Wow, nostalgia, memories, being held hostage to the past. Yeah, so I do feel this is about, you know, um, uh, knowing that you've had to be in, in maybe isolation, this pain and ending, uh, and, you know, the memories from the past. Um, you, you're ready to end that pain, and uh, uh, now you're going to move past all those memories. So I feel this is a message of knowing that you've, uh, you know, have been held back, held like hostage, um, uh, been isolated um, and connected to the past, but you're breaking free now and making progress towards happiness and joy. Um, and so look at this beautiful show. I love how uh, cool this show looks. And this is called a wedding cake of Venus clam. Wow. Wedding, marriage, committed relationship how cool is that oh my gosh the last message so yes yeah, some of you are ending with some type of wedding cake venus clam it looks like there is going to be a committed relationship some of you may that's there you go wow you are going to find your soulmate uh, a lot of you virgos it is a, a committed relationship coming away the ending having faith that you knew that your soulmate would finally uh, find you uh how beautiful is that to see um this message it is knowing that uh, there's going to be a lot of abundance and love and happiness through being isolated from being without and you're just going to end things that have not been good for you to have uh, this new beautiful new beginning so yes let's uh, look at uh, all your major arcana cards here what a wonderful message i'm happy to hear this message myself wow so um let me see we've got three major arcana cards here and there's i love these cards they're so beautiful so of course you have the high priestess energy and the angel of power and knowledge and then you have the angel of magic the magician and the sun card uh, the angel of happiness so these beautiful cards are um, just showing you how magical how uh, deeply connected you are uh, to your visions and receiving a lot of knowledge to uh, have the resources to make some type of way uh, towards your uh, journey so like I said I feel that through isolation there's changes um, coming and you are going to be headed towards some type of journey of happiness. Uh, you are going to break free from this um, um, situation of isolation. And yes, you have these beautiful pentacles to prove that. Um, you, know, you go from isolation uh, for, to the six of pentacles, others helping you, giving you a generosity, and then having the abundance with the ace of pentacles, a gift being offered as some type of new beginning. And yes, 